the city had a big flood on uh, September 10th, 2020. And you know that was sort of a wake up call to the city. Flood programs have been some of the most prominent and demanding uh, programs uh, over the last several years because of so many severe floods. That really kick-started um, the conversation amongst agencies and ultimately led to the city administrator establishing a flood task force. 26 agencies coming together, probably for the first time, to address a single problem. We were able to craft a solution after a year and a half of working together, and that takes a lot. That was really the impetus of the flood task force, is saying, you know what, there are multiple agencies involved here that need to come together to collaborate and the task force was a place where agencies could do that. Nick and his team conceived of the Flood Smart Homes program, which would provide direct financial assistance um, and do the work. Meeting that first resident and telling them, we're gonna do this for free for you, we're gonna come in and we're gonna look at your house. And then another milestone is when you actually finish the upgrades in their home that makes them more resilient. He has a passion for what he does. He cares for the people and the impact that it has more than a technical level, on a human level, and that makes a difference. It became clear to us that we had residents living with flood risk, but not knowing that they were in the risky areas of the city, and the city didn't know either. Residents, you know, they, they get directly impacted by floods. They might lose access to their house, they might lose use of their house. To reduce the flood risk in these neighborhoods, we had to first know where they are, and so that's what the integrated flood model does. It takes a look at rainfall, as it falls on the city, combines it with overland flow that's flowing over the roads and streets as the rain's coming down, with models in the storm system and the sewer system, and you integrate it all together into a single model. The progress is unbelievable, and when it's finished, it's going to put DC on the map as we were the first to do develop on something like this. All of the projects that we were working on in this past year, the flood smart homes, the integrated flood model, and the flood task force. All those are helping to solve that problem for future residents. I see Nick envisioning solutions to problems and figuring out how to make it happen. The real honor and privilege is being able to help our residents become more resilient and the fact that you know I, I could be recognized for doing that work that's sort of just secondary to being able to make a difference in our in our residents' lives.